All right, you guys, so this video is going to be only, only about how to find bank dens, okay? A lot of people ask me, how do you find bank dens? How? How do you do it? All right, well, <clears throat> the first thing you want to look for is air bubbles, okay? Long trails of air bubbles leading up to a shoreline, if you have clear ice, will indicate a bank den, okay? That is really not how I find them. <clears throat> I locate them using my spud bar, okay? So here's an example. Look at all these bubbles right here, okay? These are all from muskrats. See, there's a whole bunch of muskrat stuff right here. The majority of it anyway, is anyway. Here's a muskrat run right here, I think. Got it. Yeah. Look at this. The muskrats are in here like crazy. I'm going to have to bring rat traps tomorrow. Look at this. That is one heck of a rat run right there, you guys. Look at all that. Okay. <clears throat> so that, no. In case you guys are wondering, that's not beaver. Get out here, you can see how narrow it is. See that? See the runs where the rat's coming in? Same thing here. So these are not beaver, okay? Me personally, <clears throat> take your spud bar, look at a shoreline. Whew. Look at your shoreline, and right there we have a giant bank lodge, okay? This is the ideal place for me to show you guys how to find bank dens. So, by, by the way, I've never trapped this lodge before. I just stopped up the road. Some really nice people said, hey, knock yourself out, go trap beaver. Like, you know, they're cutting down trees and that's what you really wanna do. If you wanna find, um, you know, if you wanna find a place to trap, knock on doors and just talk to people, you guys. It's the way to go about it. So, high bank, ideally, you find a shoreline with a high bank on it, and you're going to have bank dens. Got a bank lodge, big feed pile. Now, see, I'm, I'm looking here. <clears throat> the first thing I'm looking for is an, in, is an indentation, okay? More than likely, you're not going to find a bank den right here. But right there, where it's all mud, pushed up, almost goes right to the shoreline, that is a good indicator where a bank den could be, okay? So I got my chisel. See that? Super thick ice. <clears throat> so as I'm going along here, I got to chop in front of me because I don't want to fall into a bank den. Okay, now I get up to here and I look at that. That looks very bank den-ish. And now there's, there's water right here in the animal tracks. That also tells me that there's a good chance there might be something here. So I'm chopping, I'm chopping, there's nothing here. Generally over a bank den, you're gonna have some thin ice, okay? Look at that. See that? There's almost no ice here at all, okay? So, boom, there's a bank den right there. See, so then you just gotta chop a hole up there and set your trap in there, okay? Bank den number one. Let's see if there's any more. So I'm walking along the shoreline here. <clears throat> this doesn't look like bank den territory to me. Getting up here, I mean, there's an old, there's an old bank den in there. It's here someplace, so I'll, I'll still check here. Nope, there's nice and solid. Nothing going on there. Another area where there could be one, you know. Checking it, checking it. Nope, nothing there. We're just gonna keep going oh, right down the shoreline here. Now, it doesn't take that long if you just, you know, if you just go and, you know, you're not like showing somebody how it's done, but you can walk, there's a, there's a bank den right there, wide open. See that? Plain as day, you guys. Look at that den right there. Going up under the shoreline here. Wow. Yeah, right here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the open water from that from that beaver lodge right there. No ice, you guys. Bank den. Two bank dens so far. 
getting down further well don't no need to look for this run wow there's a run going into the lodge right here but we're not we're not here to to show you guys that super hard bottom on that so there's run number three and run number four right there okay now i suspect there's more bank ends i can see two more look at that right there Bank run number three, bank den number four. I'm gonna have to go get more traps, apparently. Must be a lot of beaver in here. Look at this. Oh, there's a, there's a lodge right here, there's a bank lodge. Look at that. This is just wild. Oh my gosh, you guys. See that open water right there? Boom, super shallow. These beaver are SOL, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So that's, I mean, <clears throat> essentially, if this was all covered in snow and you wouldn't have seen this, you could have just walked right along the shoreline with that chisel like I was showing you and located that run. I'm gonna keep going down here. And there is another bank den right there. At least one, it looks like there could be even be another one. But, okay. And <clears throat> just like I said with these other runs you guys just look for indentations going up into the shoreline that one is I mean it's plain as day there's no getting around that but there's a bank den right here oh my gosh this is like the the look at this <laughs> look at that super shallow runs too you guys oh my gosh this is crazy okay so bank den number four we're gonna keep going because there might be more down this other shoreline here. Like there's nothing apparent. Like this looks suspicious right here. Like this could be one. This is where I would think there would be one at, maybe. Nope, ice is thick. <clears throat> keep, we're gonna keep moseying down here. Nope. beaver have been up here just chewing these hardwoods like crazy <clears throat> okay so we're getting down around this corner here see the they actually put up a snow fence to keep the beaver out you guys that's how bad the problem is here Okay, we're gonna keep on going here, you guys. Okay, so there's four runs over there. There could, uh, this could see, beavers can swim a long ways. They can swim from there over to here. So there's possibility of a bank den being down here still. I just walk with my spud bar. Walk and chop, you guys. Walk and chop. <clears throat> Now we're getting too far away, I would say, you know. Could there be a bank den over here? Sure. But if there was, this would be like a bachelor beaver or something on that order. beaver lodge there too another one over there but six runs over there for sure four bank dens two runs in the lodge we'll go back there and look real quick you guys 
All right, so yeah, that's how I locate bank ends. I have my spud bar. I slowly walk along the shoreline, look for indentations where there could indicate where a run could go up under the shoreline. Walk along there, chisel away with your spud bar. There'll be little to no ice over these runs. And you actually gotta be careful because if you were to fall into them, bad things could happen. So yeah, you see there's one down there, one right here. Gosh, this lodge is massive. <clears throat> one right there. And then the first one down there, we actually did kind of, we did locate it without needing, without open water. But yeah. <clears throat> so, hope you guys learned a little bit about how to locate banked ends from that. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a totally separate video, all by itself dedicated it, dedicated to finding the banked ends. And uh, this Beaver Lodge here will also be another video. Hopefully that hope you helped you guys locate um, or figured out how to locate banked ends um, with a spud bar. Just check shorelines. Like I'm not, I'm not afraid to, to look 150, you know, or even 200 yards from the lodge <clears throat> because they can certainly hold their breath that long and swim that far. So anyway, thanks for watching.